my sweet child. I know why you're here. You're here because you love pastel and you love Les Yeux. And today I'm going to bring you what you've all been looking for. Les Yeux collection haul thing. Yes. <laughs> so, hello people of the internet. I'm Bean and I'm here for another video. And I want to show you some cute things. My internet's cut out all over the village. Our internet's just stopped working. It's like the apocalypse, but we'll be fine, I'm sure. So I have no internet. I can't even upload the video that I filmed like two days ago. It's just stuck. So I thought, why not? Instead of just sitting around, I'll just film another video. And I know a lot of you like the lazy over look. So I thought I'd show you more of my sort of rare sort of lazy oaf things you can't you don't normally see really old lazy oaf so and it's all pastel except for one so i think you'll like it i hope you like it stay chill out grab yourself a juice and we'll do some looking <laughs> i don't know what this is sorry yeah my hair was pink and now it's really fading if you have any pastel pink hair tips let me know i don't even know what this is does it look a bit weird <laughs> let me know <laughs> Let me know if my hair looks weird or not. My advice to you is you're, you're really into Lazy Oaf. Check Depop like it's Facebook or Twitter. We don't really like Facebook. Facebook's a bit crap. Twitter or Instagram, like the good ones like that. Check Depop as you would that. So then just take the tag for Lazy Oaf and Depop and just go, oh yeah, okay, nothing new, that's fine. Because then that's when you find the, the good things, you know? But the other thing you can do as well is you go on the Lazy Oaf sales group or you can post it on Depop and just say, I'm looking for this Lazy Oaf item. It's really rare, but if anyone wants to help me, that'd be amazing. Because the only reason I got this adorable Marie skirt was the help of the Lazy Oaf group. I put on there and just said, I'm really looking for this skirt in a small. I don't, you know, just tag me if you see it, message me, it's fine. And the next morning, I think it was, a girl messaged me and said, look, there's one in, I think it's in Poland or Sweden or something like that. And she said, there's one in small and it's really cheap. You should just get it because it's going to go really quick. And I did. And that's why I got it. And although it was far, the shipping wasn't much extra, it still was quite cheap, the skirt, and it's great quality, and I didn't get a customs charge or anything, so it was all fine. So this Marie skirt is from the Disney Times Lazy Oaf collection. It's got Marie the cat embroidered on the pockets. The pockets are heart-shaped, and they've got this beautiful little frill around it, which is just so cute. At the bottom, it's a raw hem, so it's kind of a little bit of edgy, and we like that. We like a bit of edgy. And on the butt pockets, you've got two nice little bows stitched in as well. And I love this. So I have two other Disney items that I'm going to show you as well, but I'll show them a little bit later on. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay. This next item wasn't cheap. You can't get everything for cheap unless you're very lucky. I have been quite lucky with some of mine. But a lot of it hasn't been so cheap, cheap. This is the Esther Loves Oaf jacket. This cost... <laughs> I paid more for this than what it retailed at, which is a shame. But, I mean, if you find this for cheaper, then you're crazy lucky. I've only ever seen it for, like, £100 plus, which is really expensive for a jacket. But, I mean, I, I just couldn't... This is, Oh, is this my favourite Lazy Oaf item? It probably is. It's got those really cute roses, pastel pink roses, stitched into the collar. And, of course, it's got the Esther Bunny chilling out in the pockets, eating some popcorn. And it's super fluffy and it just makes you feel... There's something about faux fur jackets that just make you feel like the queen of earth. And you'll just, like, feel so... Like, yes, I've arrived. I am the queen. You know? And it's got two pockets. Two on the top and two on the bottom. Put your stuff in. And it's a really lovely jacket. So we like that a lot. So keep checking Depop and eBay, but... I mean, if you find it cheaper, let me know, because I would be amazed and I would give you the applause. You'd get a big clap from me. Next, I love this. This might be my favourite Lazy Oaf item. Actually, it's this. It's a dolphin shirt. It's so cute. The colours, I love the colours, the blue and the pink. It's just absolutely adorable. And the white, it's great for summer. It's got, again, these cute little flowers printed on to the collar and then if it couldn't get any better you got a little pal in your pocket a little dolphin pal just chilling out be your friend he's offering you a little flower because he loves you very much i got this on depop 
and it was from another YouTuber. She's called Jessica Chelsea, and you should check her out because she has more lazy oath than I do. And she does great like hauls. She goes to the sample sale and everything. I wish I could go to the sample sale so much. If you don't know what the sample sale is, basically lazy oath rent out a big warehouse twice a year so once in summer once in winter and they do all the samples of clothing so it might be that the print slightly changed on it or there's items with a slight defect that they couldn't sell for full price or items that they never sold and they changed their mind on it and they just thought we're not going to sell it so you can get some really interesting pieces there that i've seen anyway i'd love to go but i'm not local to london and it'd be a pain for me to get there if you want to go to the sample sale you literally have to leave at like you have to be there like 5am because it's crazy now how big Lazy Oath is. People are travelling and people are getting there early and people are waiting outside. It's kind of, because I'm not local to London, it's going to take me about an hour to get there by train. And then it's just not really worth it because I'm paying like £50 for the train, 30 40 50 pounds whatever for the train. And then it kind of, the items aren't as cheap then are they really because I've paid extra. And God, I don't think I could be up that early. I think I'd just... I'm not a morning person at all. Sorry, I'd rather just sleep. But I'd love to go. I'd love to go, to be honest, just to see the other Lazy Oaf pals that all like it. It would be nice to meet people that are into the same thing as I am. This is my next item. I want to say it's a jumper, but it's not. It's like a long-sleeved sort of jersey. This was really long. This ice cream shirt that I'm wearing is really long as well. And that kind of puts me off. I don't like things that come down to like my knees because I'm not that tall. So on this jersey top i did cut it and turned it up which i wouldn't normally do but i knew if i did that then i would start wearing it and i did it says socially awkward association on the front which i mean we're all in that club it's the best club we don't meet up because we're all too awkward but we love it anyway it's pastel pink we love pastel pink and it's got these cute little flowers printed around it and i really like that i think that was from depop that's not really that rare an item you can find them quite often on depop for like I'd say the 30, 50 pounds range that normally is in. This next item is from the store. I just went a bit mad and brought it. And I've not worn it yet, which is really bad. It's really bad that I haven't worn it yet. But I don't go outside enough or to nice cute events where I could wear it. But it's this amazing. It's this. It makes me make a noise. I'm so excited. It's this cute blue bear dress. It has this cute little face embroidered on. He has a little pink bow tie. The top is sheer with these puffy sleeves. And it's just a really cute fit. Goes in at the waist and then it pops back out. And it's got pockets. We need to start a movement now where everything has pockets for women. Why do we not get pockets? Why do men always have pockets and we have to have nothing or the smallest pockets ever that you can fit like a little bean in and nothing else? I will wear it, I promise. I just don't go outside enough. <laughs> so... This was actually the first ever Lazy Oath item I brought. And I got this really cheap. You won't get it for cheap anymore because it's really rare. And I brought this. I didn't know what Lazy Oath was. I just saw it on Depop and I thought, wow, that's cute. I'm going to buy it. And it was up for a price. And I even sent the girl an offer that was lower and said, oh, can I have it for this? It's really cute. And she was like, yeah, sure, you can have it. This would never happen now. I think I got it for like £20. I want to say £20, which is ridiculously cheap now. Like It would be so much more expensive. It's this pastel block jumper. When I first got this and I posted it on Instagram, I got so many people messaging me, asking me to sell it. People were like, where's it from? Where's it from? And I was like, oh, it's Lazy Oats, but it's old. I got it on Depop. And they said, oh, I'll give you money. Can you, can I buy it from you? And I'm like, no, I really like it. I'm not, I'm not selling it. It's so cute. Because it's just, oh, it's just so cute and soft. It's lilac the sleeve is blue the other sleeve is pink and the back is this amazing mint green i would say this is the pastel jumper of dreams it's just isn't it perfect i can't ever sell this this is what i mentioned in my past lazy overhaul because they've got pastel stuff now that is so like it's so trying to be this you know it's they remember how well this sold next another cheap item cheap cheap you can find these a lot on depop they don't go for a lot anymore. I wouldn't say it's rare. And there's a lot of knockoffs of this as well. I don't know if you care about knockoffs. I wouldn't personally buy a knockoff of an item because I feel like it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of a it's kind of bad to the brand, isn't it? And I love Lazy Oath a lot, so I wouldn't. I did buy it before I was into Lazy Oath. I had the Waste of Time cardigan, like a dupe of that. And it 
it was fine it was okay but when they released the new version of it i bought that and i just sold my old one on i'd rather just pay a bit more and get the real thing you know but if you're interested you can get dupes of this but i know they think they're chinese and they come up really small and short but this is a pinafore of a kitty cat you can get this in black as well but obviously i went for the pink don't need to explain that again do i um it's got this beautiful little face little head on it got a big ass pocket storing snacks as always and i think it's really cute for the summer i think it feels lovely it's soft denim it's got two butt pockets as well i think that's really cute and i've had a lot of wear out of that so if you want one then get it i suppose next i love this item so much i brought this from a girl that works at Lazio on her depop these don't i'd say these sell for about 40 pounds but i don't i never really see these i know a lot of people are looking for them but i've never seen them go for a lot either which is interesting so this is really cute sort of short sleeve jumper ribbed jumper it's a mess of colors it's so bright and i love it i just think the colors are gorgeous it's so fun i think yeah i absolutely love this i definitely have had a lot of wear out of that it's really really cute what we got next i want to show you some disney who doesn't like disney if you don't like disney then there's something majorly wrong <laughs> disney times lazy i've i got this again because someone in the lazy i've sales group they ran like lazy i've released this collection like two months previous and then they randomly restocked and but didn't tell anyone they just put it up and went oh we've got this now and he's like what so someone in the lazy i've sales group was like Oh, they put up the Marie Tops if you want the Marie Top. And I was like, I'm getting it now. So I got it immediately. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at this. This is very rare and these go for quite a lot now as well. I'm so happy that I did buy it because I didn't buy it originally because I was like, eh, I'm like, I don't know what was wrong with me. But <laughs> it's when the Esther Loves Oaf collection came out and the Disney collection came out. I was just like, yeah, it's not really my style. I think I'll leave it. And now I'm like, why didn't you just buy all of it? It was all so good. So I had to catch up on Depop and such. But I did get this in the end. I'm glad I decided to get it. So it's a sheer panel with these spots on. Marie looking all snooty and like, yes, I'm the queen. Which is just so cute with her little bow. Pastel pink because everything's pastel pink because we love pastel pink. It's very oversized. I think this would be another item that I'd like to tuck into like a skirt because it's quite long on me. But it's extremely cute and great for the summer. So... Keep your eye out for that one. It's a nice one. I've noticed a lot of Lazy Oaf items are cat themed. And this is another t-shirt I have. I actually cropped this one as well. Because it was so dang long on me. This was pretty cheap. It was like £30 I think. £20, £30. It's got this really cute tobby little... Tobby little fat cat on it. Lilac cat. Surrounded by flowers because he's just as beautiful as the flowers. And I love this a lot. It's really cute. So that's another good one that I got on Depop for pretty cheap. Next, this was the right. This item I looked for this for a ridiculous amount of time. I must have been looking for it for like nine months. It was so long and stupid, and I kept missing out on them. Or they were going for like hundreds of pounds, and it was like I don't have that much money. I'm sorry, but I really want the cardigan. But in the end, I found it one morning. I woke up. They'd listed one oh no i remember what happened drama it was um they listed it it sold straight away and i was like gosh dang no and i messaged her which i know is bad and i wouldn't recommend that to people if it's been sold just leave it and i was like if I, if anything happens i will buy it from you if anything changes in the circumstances she backs it out i don't know i really want this cardigan you know sort of whatever and then she messaged me and she said, actually, yeah, the seller's just backed out. Did you want it? And I said, yes. Oh, give it to me now. And I brought it and it was so lucky. I wouldn't recommend you go messaging people because it is kind of bad. If they've sold it, it's sold. It's over. You know, that's it. You missed out that, you know, whatever. So it's best to just leave it. If it sells, it sells. You will find another one. It's fine. But this is the Lazy Oaf pink college cardigan. And I, this is... I just love this so much and i'm so happy that i got one i never i think i've seen these listed on depop like twice so it's very rare but the pink and blue it's just adorable it's got this little teddy bear embroidered on he's a little bit fluffy and on the back it says leather 
big blue block of curly writing and it's it's fabulous and i love it a lot and i'm so happy that i got it and she was so nice as well she sent me like some lush bath bombs as well i still remember that and i just thought that's so sweet why would you do that so let's go back to disney disney it's a cinderella hoodie the cinderella hoodie this i love it i got this on depop too i think it was from japan i, think I got it for 50 pounds which isn't really that bad at all for this i think when it was released it was like 75 and then now there are a lot more because it's rare this hoodie is huge this is an extra small it fits me perfectly still has a bit of room so depending on the fit you want i'd size down really it's got this cool blue frill the blue little cinderella birds pink heart again we love the pink blue and the white on the back it has this amazing print of a castle for a princess it's just so cute i really love it like the cutest gym wear you could ever have like imagine going running in this you just look so cool i love that hoodie a lot I haven't worn it much because I'm terrified of getting something down it. I don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm just a mess, but white clothes freak me out. They give me anxiety. Like it just like, you'll just be eating and then you'll look down and there'll just be stuff everywhere. And you're like, no, it's all stained, it's over. So I try to stay away from white because it just makes me scared. And especially when it's like rare lazy over. Cause I've seen people on the sales group before like spill Ribena or something down it or wine. And then it's like, no, it's over. What can you do, be do? You gotta live, you gotta wear it, you know? You gotta take some risks in your life. So this I wore in my other video. Isn't it cute? I've not worn these outside because I'm not, I'm, hmm, I don't think my neighborhood would be that, you know? I don't think my sort of town would sort of appreciate something like this. I think I'd get laughed at. I'm sure if you live in a nice town or you've got a lot of confidence, a lot of swag, then you'll be fine. But like I wore, what did I wear? I wore something just like my pink Doc Martens and then like a big purple like jumper or something and a hair bow. And then these girls were just randomly laughing at me in the centre. And I was like, who do you think you are? You're all in green parkas. God. No, I'm not shaving anyone. I don't care what you wear. At the train station as well. Sorry, I'm getting off topic, but this really, oh, it really annoys me. I saw this group of girls and literally they looked like, they looked like they could be in like a cool goth girl band. Like they had the platform shoes. They all had really bright hair. That was all like volume. They looked so cool. Fishnet tight, skirts, then chains. They literally looked like three of them looked like, the power group like they looked amazing and then these girls were like Haha, they look really weird and i was like what's wrong with you why are you being so horrible let people live you know who cares what you wear if you feel good wear it god i'm getting all annoyed now but i was this i was an inch away from saying don't be rude they look good you look boring <laughs> kidding i don't want to be rude it doesn't matter what you wear but just don't be nasty you know so these are my bunny wreaths. I love them a lot. I think they're super cute. I bought these randomly. These were really cheap on Depop as well. So I just thought, why not? I think these are extra small. These are an extra small as well. And they're very cute and I like them a lot. Very comfy, extra small, fits me fine. Again, the bottoms are sort of short and flared. And they're very cute. So next, I'm gonna show you some accessories. That I think are really cute. It's only three. I don't really have that many lazy over accessories, but I thought I'd just show you some anyway, just to make it a bit different, you know. So first up, in my first ever YouTube video, I wore this beret, the messed up beret. This, I mean, I was super lucky with this. I got it for like fifteen pounds. If you look for this now, I've seen them go for like a hundred, which is interesting because it's a hat. But if you want to spend your money on that, that's cool. I've spent £100 on a jacket, so it's whatever, isn't it? I love this. I just love the pink and red. I'm really about pink and red at the minute. It's got this cute little pom-pom. Honk, honk. And then a heart at the front, embroidered in. And then on the back, it just says stitched in. It says messed up. And it's really, oh, it's just lovely colour. It's really cute. I bought this like the second it went up. And even the seller said, you brought that quick. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, I never see these listed. I know you can get fake versions of these as well. I think people make fake versions of this. But, I mean, I think the real deal's nicer. Still not sure how I feel about this. I like it on other people, but not really on me, which kind of sucks. 
this is really rare this is the only one i've ever seen listed is the one that i've got here i've never seen it sold again apart from when it was online it's got fluff in it sorry it's this puppy dog um like a snapback it is i'm not really keen on snapbacks again i feel like it's a bit silly but it's got this cute bow on the back and that's what made me go oh. so it's got the dog with a sticky out tongue and the front it's got this bow and i think that's really cute and i feel feel a bit silly in it though but it looked cute on the model <laughs> so i got it i guess i could sort it out a bit but i just think the bow on on it it's really cute it's a good idea i think i guess you could do that to any old cap though really you just take the bit out of it and stitch a bit of ribbon in you need have the same thing but I can't remember how much I paid for this because I bought it so long ago. But I was actively looking for this. We're on the last item now already. Boo hoo. A single two. <laughs> Another child of mine. This is a bear backpack. So he's, he's an actual backpack. He's got the tags on still. I'm really sorry. He's just been on my shelf. I've not used him yet. As much as I'd like to. On the inside, it's got this cute pink lining with all like different lazy over lettering on it. So O and Y and so on and so forth. And the ring on it's a little glove like cartoon glove which is really cool i got this i saw this in store i really wanted it i was there with my friend i really wanted it but the price was expensive and i kind of thought i'm not no it's just a bit silly it's basically just paying for teddy bear which is kind of silly and then i got home and i thought about it and i thought i really like him but i don't think i'll get him and it was online he went on sale like that day <laughs> so i got him when he was on sale i'm not sure if these are still in store i think they're still on that. i hate that that just looks horrible, doesn't it? Like how sad he droops. He needs to be like, hey, but sometimes he's, he kind of, when he's hanging on this bit, he just looks like he's died. It's kind of awful. The only thing I'm not keen on is his tongue is sideways for some reason. And I find that a bit strange. Why is it not? God, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm abusing this teddy bear for you. He's very soft. He's like the softest of all softest. I love him a lot and I'll use him soon. You can't really get that much in him because he's mostly padded. But he is very cute and he can sit on the top of the throne <laughs> so i guess that's my video done i hope you like to see some of my lazy oaf some of my favorites it was really hard to break it down into i think it's 15 isn't it i had like 30 items that wanted to include but i didn't want it to be the longest video of all time ever so I hope you liked it. If you want to see more of my Lazy Earth collection, I'm happy to do another video. That's pretty cool with me because I've got... I don't even know how many items I've got. I must have like 50 or 60 items. My wardrobe is basically just Lazy Earth. It's actually really sad. But thanks so much for watching. Remember, stay safe, eat your greens, love yourself. Have a great day. Give your family a big old kiss and enjoy your day. Bye!